Okay. It's turning, yeah. Not quite going on full throttle, though. Right? No, we, don't, we don't want full throttle, though, do we? No. Why wouldn't I just buy a car instead? Yeah, that's a really good question, because um, I could pick up a car for for what I spent on some of these go-karts, and it'd be, it'd be twice as fast, and uh, and I could use it on the roads, and, and a whole host of other advantages. My first one was this was this wooden go-kart. Um, it started off, when I built it, it was just for sort of rolling down hills. Um, and then my mate sold me a petrol scooter and I put the engine on. And um, yeah, once I did that, I sort of got addicted and started uh, building more. <laughs> Oi, Pete, I should be the one that's crashing. <laughs> And now I'm starting to try and go for some more records, which is um, why I built this shopping trolley. Um, I applied to Guinness World Records for that. It does 50 miles an hour, but I'm not sure what the record is yet, so fingers crossed. Yeah, all the stuff I build is, I'm not following any instructions from anyone. Well, if you're just going to follow instructions, you might as well just just buy one. So um, the good thing about these projects is, um, even though you might only be going 40 miles an hour, it's on something that you've built and it made out of like I don't know bits of old scrap cars and that. So it's it really is quite exciting, more so than if you're on just a motorbike made in a factory. I think to really enjoy the project, it, it would have to the ideas would have to come from your head. Um, when you build a project rather than just buying a car or, or mobile, um, you're kind of limited by your skills. So as you get better at it, your the things you build will improve too. Well, I've applied for the world record for the fastest wheelchair. Um, what I've made so far, I'm sitting in right now. Um, I've just taken it to bits and uh, the frame was really weak, um, so I made it out of thicker steel, but I sort of copied the, the shape of it exactly so it still looked like a wheelchair, but um, it'd be strong enough to take the 19 horsepower engine I plan to stick in it. seen this done before but um, what it'll be like is handlebars go here and they'll pivot around there so the steer will sort of be doing that then there'll be a rod going from the bottom there down to the stub axle causing that to turn and then the same thing on the other side so yeah I did it like this because um because when you're in a wheelchair your arms are sort of around this sort of area because if, if you were like that it would less wheelchair-like. I want people to look at it and think, yeah, it's a wheelchair, but with an engine. Because I'm trying to keep it like as standard as possible, within reason. Well, I have to rely on, um, when I get parts, most of them are from the scrapyard, so you never know what's gonna be there. So, um, I just have to go down there with my fingers crossed and hope I find uh, what I'm after. Engine, of course. Not sure when I'm, where I'm gonna get that. Um, hopefully I'll find a second hand one, because they're uh, not cheap. Um, go-kart wheels, another school table, that's what I've been building the frame out of, they're surprisingly strong, so um, I sort of have to compromise, but in a way, it's it sort of gives them a bit of character, like using parts for what they're not supposed to be for, for example the steering on this um, was, was, is a cam belt from a car which I got for free.
Guinness World Records uh, 1 meter to do 62 miles an hour. There's not an actual record yet, but that's the um, that's the minimum speed they want so, to, to sort of accept it. Anything less wouldn't, wouldn't be worth noting. I mean, the police have paid a visit a couple of times, but they're actually pretty cool about it. They, um, they sort of stopped and they're like, oh yeah, what engine is it? Oh yeah, brilliant, yeah. And they said, oh yeah, take care, don't go on the road. It was blatantly illegal.